I mean, from the terrible start to the ejection, it was a weird night for you guys. Well, it's terrible. I mean, it's totally unacceptable the way we performed tonight. Again, you know, I'll take the blame. You know, I didn't. I guess I didn't tell them before the game how hard this was going to be. This team is pissed off. They're upset. They're going to come here like mad hornets, and we came in like we were, we had done something by beating Miami. Again, this is a tough league, and if we don't accept that, then it's on it's on us. It's on shame on us. And again, the way you come into the game with that disposition of okay, we're at home, we're okay. That's not okay. And how many times do we have to do that before it smacks us upside the head and wakes us up? You think with Kyle getting ejected in the third quarter, is it just a loss of composure or you couldn't get away from Scott quick enough? Well, that's, uh, I don't know what happened. I mean, I got to talk to uh, Kyle about it and see what happened. I, I thought he was trying to ask for an explanation. Uh, usually officials walk away from those situations without throwing out a star player. I mean, I heard a lot worse from their team to the officials. Uh, so, again, you know, walk away. We got to be adults in the situation. And, and uh, but again, that's no excuse. You know, we got to be professional, understand that the officials are not the enemy. You know, the purple jerseys are the enemy. And uh, again, it, you know, we win a big game. It, how many times do we have to come back and, bounce and, and have a letdown and say, okay, we can relax? No, this league is a hard league. Any team can beat any team at, on any night. And um, we've got to remedy that or we're going to be whistling Dixie. Corey Joseph has played a lot of minutes this year, more than any time in his career. Is he kind of hitting the rookie wall in his fifth year? Corey's not as, I mean, he's not, doesn't have the, you know, he's been sick. He's had the uh, lung congestion and all that stuff. So that has zapped some of his energy from him and everything. Um, again, you, you know, we down two starters, then we lose, lose Kyle. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on him. And uh, so again, we got to understand that collectively and take up the slack, and everybody's got to pull their weight. Kyle's uh, not shooting the same percentage as he has, sort of going back five or six games now. Is anything you see there? Is he just uh, kind of one of those slumps? Well, again, Michael, you know, he's, he's logging a lot of minutes too. We, again, teams are gearing up to him, double teaming him. Uh, we got to recognize that, move the basketball. Uh, it's nothing we have not seen. Uh, trying to take him out of the game, trying to take DeMar out of the game. Uh, but we got to be smarter as far as moving the basketball and taking a high percentage shot. He had a tough game against Charlotte. I thought he bounced back against Miami. And tonight he, you know, he gets ejected in the, you know, during the game. So uh, we've got to get our collective heads back together. We have enough in the room to get it done. Once we get DC back, uh, JV back. But again, until then, we've got to do it collectively with eight or nine or 10 guys, whoever's in the locker room. Really aren't guarding Bismack all that much. How much pressure does that put on the other four guys then? Well, it does, but he does so many other things. I mean, he's rebounding, he's blocking shots, he's protecting the paint. Uh, he gives us a physicality in the paint. So uh, you know, we lose something on one side and we gain something on the other side. So uh, we've we've won big games with him in there. So that that's not you know we got to be good enough to to compensate for that. Thank you. Thank you.